Welcome back to The Iconist, the most established news platform for the Icon Republic. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications. And if you enjoy the content, why not share it with your friends? It really does help. Hi, I'm Nathan, founder of G3 Partners, a sole Korea-based marketing agency that works with a lot of blockchain companies, and we're also the publisher of The Iconist. Today, we have an exciting opportunity to speak with Min Kim, the founder of Icon. We'll talk about his views on Icon today and discuss his vision for the future of the Icon Republic. We'll also discuss the upcoming Icon 2.0 upgrade, which is due for full release in the next couple of months. So be sure to stay for the whole video so you don't miss any of this important and interesting information. Without more ado, We'll jump straight into the interview. So Min, uh, thanks very much indeed for joining us today. Great. Thanks for having me here. Good to see you. Great, yeah. And uh, it's also great uh, to have rebooted the Iconist. Um, somewhat similar yeah. yeah, somewhat similar to the crypto markets. We had a, a bit of a a downtime, um, but we're now fully back in action, and um, you know I'm sure part of that is thanks to you. So thank you very much. No, glad you guys were able to uh, restart, reboot. Uh, I think the community is excited to have you. I'm excited to be here. Um, so yeah, this is great, and I think you guys are doing an amazing job, uh, Joe, you know, for the project. And um, yeah, just happy that we are talking again. Yeah. Likewise, yeah. Great. So um, I think we'll just dive straight into the uh, the questions and topics for today. I think that most people watching the video know who you are and know who Icon is. Um, if they don't, they can always go to the Iconist and find out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so what what are you most excited about uh, that's coming up in the next few months for Icon and the Icon Republic? Sure. I mean, I think... We've made this very clear. Uh, the very first thing is the Icon 2.0 migration. We've been working on this for a while now, over half a year. And we're now about 81% uh, complete. So we're almost there to the finish line, of course. A lot more has to be done to synchronize with the other P reps because Icon, we don't you know, control the network. We need to work with other uh, public representatives to uh, do the full migration and restart the network. So once that happens, you know, I believe we will have a very strong performance boost. But not only that, um, it will be very exciting for more developers to come in and build, uh, you know, using the latest technology that we'll be able to provide. Mm -hmm. uh, the second is the ICE blockchain. Yeah. Uh, as you all know, the uh, EVM compatibility has been one of the biggest uh, wants and requests from the developer community, and we will finally be able to offer that. Yeah. And third is the BTP, uh, Blockchain mm. Transmission Protocol, our interoperability technology, yeah. and we will be able to showcase the, the technology between the ICON blockchain and ICE blockchain, uh, obviously, and this will be a very good way to uh, use BTP. But not only that, uh, as you and our community know, we've been building BTP together through a working group with other blockchain protocols such as NIR and Polkadot and so forth. So um, and all of that combined has been quite exciting. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's obviously a lot more happening on the ICON network. You know, we have different applications, we have new members, we have new community members, and you guys are back. <laughs> so a lot, of, a lot of exciting things happening just all around. But, you know, if I just have, had to speak from a technology perspective, uh, those were the ones that, you know, I want, I want to say that I'm very excited about. Sure. Um, I wonder if we could talk just maybe a little bit about um, ICE and BTP. Um, uh, I've been doing a bit of research myself, and uh, my do correct me if I'm wrong, um, but my understanding is that re this, this really is a, um, a move towards making ICON 
and uh, DAP services developed on ICON more interoperable, um, more relevant for other blockchains beyond the ICON space. And um, uh, ICE is a, an Ethereum uh, virtual machine uh, that has been developed by ICON. And the intention here, if I understand it correctly, is that this will enable developers to, uh, to create blockchain solutions within the ICON environment, but in a way that is compatible with Ethereum. Um, and then BTP is the, the connectivity piece that then connects those products or services to the main Ethereum blockchain. D does that capture essentially what you're doing in a nutshell? Or, I mean, do feel free to provide some additional detail or correct anything that I got wrong there. No, I mean, I believe that's a good summary. Um, EVM, EVM compatibility is uh, requested because, uh, as you know, uh, Solidity, uh, Solidity is a popular language in the blockchain space due to Ethereum. A lot of the other blockchains such as, you know, uh, Binance Smart Chain or Tron, a lot of these are you know, basically EVM compatible, you know, compatible blockchains. There are, there are forks. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, us being able to provide a, a competing similar uh, platform that works very seamlessly with the ICON blockchain, you know, we think provides a very, very uh, strong uh, value proposition for developers. And developers, you know, look for a simple way to be able to use different uh, existing codes to uh, be able to bring in or port over to our new network. So mm -hmm. we've been talking with a lot of the, you know, applications or dApps in the Ethereum or other EVM uh, compatible chains um, where they will be able to bring those dApps very, very easily uh, to the ICON ecosystem. So, right. um, yeah, I think we'll be able to offer that. So I think that's exciting. But at the same time, you know, we still are catering our technology towards, uh, you know, enterprise developers. So mm -hmm. Java is the most popular language in the uh, software development space. And we are able to offer uh, JVM uh, where, you know, basically we are able to give choices to developers to build either or uh, whichever language that they're more comfortable with. 